there are two ways to approach science. One is to appear on podcasts and claim to represent and protect science from people that may make statements that are not to the taste of the mainstream of science. That's one approach. That's me. The second approach, <laughs> I said that's one approach. If you want to subscribe to it, you're welcome. <laughs> the second approach is to actually be in the trenches and do the work of science. And that's much more work than sitting on a chair, speaking in a podcast <laughs> and uh, leading the world's most popular podcast. That's not the way to do science. I, the I, way to yeah. do science <laughs> is I, to I actually... Have a wait a second. Program. Uh, you, you, you spoke. I, I have uh, the right to, to finish my sentences. <laughs> the way to do science is to collect evidence, build observatories, collect data, and get to the bottom of the question that you're asking. And nobody, nobody within the scientific community has the right to say that this pursuit of evidence is illegitimate because that's the fabric of science, we, it's a learning experience. The only way for us to learn about new knowledge is not by claiming and pretending to know the answer in advance. It's not by saying the evidence is not good enough and therefore we should not even think about other possibilities. It's the childhood curiosity, the imagination of other possibilities that should be encouraged because it motivates the collection of new data. And the work that needs to be done to collect new data is to be celebrated, not the appearance on podcasts.